the video. What's up? No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, sorry, I'm so happy because today, if y'all don't know, it is February 6th. February 6th. And today is a big day for me because my first single, first song, first everything to Lindsay Soboda, Lindsay Lid, whatever you want to call me, released today. And I'm very excited. get like dirt on your face you know y'all know that so i like to use the um, neutrogena makeup wipes just now another thing that i like to do is um i don't know if a lot of people do this but i like to do it it just it makes my face feel really clean i like to spray the rose water if you see there's different kinds the facial spray i like to um spray it after I take everything off the face, if you had makeup on or whatever, just and then let that little kind of dry. After that, I to wash my face, so make sure you're getting all that extra dirt out. Because when you put the mask on, you're like it's not getting everything out, you know. This when I get in the shower every every day, this is a really good um, face mask, and it tingles and it feels so good. I've been using this for a few years now. It's clean and clear, deep action cream. So yeah, this is highly recommended. And I like to use um, my little face brush. And you can get these anywhere. You can get the cheap ones from Five Below. This is where I actually got this one. It was only $5 and it works amazing. You just put a little bit on here. As you can see, I'm going over these spots a lot right here because that's where I'm breaking out the most. Just go over the parts where you're really breaking out. And also whenever, like I said, my skin was really dirty, that's really gross. But um, just clean it off. Make sure, if you really do use these face brush, make sure you always clean them daily. The brush. And don't ever let anyone use it. Always use warm water on your face. Let it sit for a good minute. 
So just rinse it off. Okay, so now I washed off my face. I have everything off. And make sure when you're getting your towel, you pat it dry. Never rub. I honestly don't know why. I've just always been told that. Just always pat your face to dry. Now, since I dried my face off, remember patting the face. Now we will get into the face mask. Now, I have a lot of face masks that I like and some of them I do not like. Um, honestly, to me, in my opinion, the peel off clay mask, let's see this one, this is another peel off mask. These are really cool to use and they work really well. 100%, I do highly recommend this one right here. It's really, um, it works really good, but also you gotta remember when you're peeling it off, it does kind of hurt. But um, this is a really good mask. I do highly recommend this one. This is my one of my favorites. I actually just did this one recently. Sorry, the candle wax is all over it. Be very bright. Be very bright. It makes sense. But not nah, um. Also, another thing, if you have blackheads and you really trying to find, this is also a good scrub that you can use. When I use this black scrub, uh, blackhead scrub, I usually just put it on like where my blackheads are, of course, which is my around my nose. So I'll just get a little bit, put it on my finger, and let it sit for a while, and just put them like a little mask kind of thing. So yeah, this is a good um, way to get rid of blackheads. This one, clean and clear is one of my favorites. So I'm gonna use my favorite, which is the Be Very Bright. Now, this one I do, do get at Ulta. If not, you can order it online. It's not that expensive, it's like probably eight dollars. Seven maybe, maybe even cheaper. So I just get a little bit in my hand and I just rub it on. Now down here, of course, is where I'm breaking out. So I like to make it a little bit more thick where I'm breaking out. It's all layered pretty equally. Let this sit for 10 minutes. Um, usually I say 10 minutes, but whenever you start feeling it's getting really hard, that's when you take it off. Okay guys, as you can see, it's been 10 minutes. It's hard for me to talk now. But yeah, so you see like the difference. It's all dried up and everything. I washed the face mask off and my face is really clean and it feels really good. So remember, pat. Make sure your face is really dried. Okay, so the next thing I like to do is of course spray my face again with our favorite rose water. I like to like, okay, I don't know what just happened. But anyway, so yeah, so I like to um, spray my face. Here is my favorite moisturizer. It's called Saint Eve's. Yeah, you know, see, here we go. Now, this is a really good moisturizer. Um, I believe you can buy this at Ulta. And you know, if even if not online, of course, everything's online. Now, I like to um, put my two fingers in there. That's actually a little too much. You don't want your skin to be drowning in it, but just tap your fingers, and I like to just, you know, just put some on. So once you rub that in, your face is a little, my face is a little damp because I put a little too much. And as you can see, I finished my facial um, routine. This is what I use weekly. Don't do this every single day. The only thing that you do every single day is everything that I did except the face mask. Face masks are not good to be in your skin every single day, okay? And if you want, two times a week is good. No matter how much you're breaking out or anything, I know you're trying to do whatever, whatever it takes to get rid of the acne. Don't do it, it'll dry out your skin and you don't want that. But um, here are some good facial masks. Anything, honestly, from Freeman, that's what it's called, Freeman, it's great. I have almost everything you could think of from Freeman. I have more. Another good moisturizer, if you don't want the St. Eve's, there's this one, the Cerave Facial Moisturizing Lotion. I like to, um, Every day before I put my makeup on, I do use this. It's really good for your skin so it doesn't dry out. 
and your makeup doesn't peel, that's a good one. Another good facial scrub. I like to use this one in the shower, of course, this in the shower. And of course, when you spray it at the end. And a moisturizer. Moisturizer is really good so your skin doesn't dry out. And if you have dry skin, you know that. And also, I really recommend a face brush because, you know, it feels really good on your face and it gets deeper into your pores. Makeup wipes to get all the dirt off your face, access dirt, makeup, whatever you have. And then we get our face wash brush. And uh, make sure you clean that also all the time because all the dirt stays in the little brush part. You get that. And then you get whatever. Um, and then we get our face wash. Wash right here. Wash your face with it, make sure you scrub it in, leave it for a few a minute or so, it feels really good on your skin. Wash it off, hot water, rub off. And then also, we have, you know, any of your made face masks that you like. It just depends, honestly. I recommend all of them. Try whatever one you like best. Like I said, the peel off mask, I like them, but you know, you gotta peel them off and kinda rips off your hair on your face, you know, yeah. If y'all like that, do it. They're awesome. They do work, but I just not my favorite. You rub, scrub off, scrub your mask off. You got your spray again. Moisturizer. I hope y'all guys liked my skin routine. This is what I use on the weekly, and I also showed y'all what I use on the daily. Um, remember, subscribe, like, share, all of that business. But besides from that, also remember that if you ever need someone to talk to, I will always be here. You can DM me, Snapchat me, whatever. All my social medias are on the link at the top and I'm always there so if you ever need anyone I am here I'm not mean I'm so nice to talk to and I will always listen but <laughs> also make sure y'all if y'all like to let you go purchase it for me stream it love it I love y'all peace out